hello and very welcome to today's episode. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today myself and Dermot are off to visit an icon of the Antrim coast and that is the Giant's Causeway. So it's a set of hexagonal rocks, quite unique, caused by lava, but legend has it that it was the causeway made by the Giants when they were fighting the other Giants from Scotland and this is all that remains by it. Let's go, let's see what we can get here for sunrise. Are you lying about what you just said or did you just make that up? It's Irish folklore. Really? Yeah. Read it. Nah, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have Dermid in his unnatural habitat, up early in the morning, going down, pretending that he knows what he's doing with a camera. Look at the bouncy walk that Dermid has. It's so much a bouncy walky. He's a wonky, 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 wonky. And here is the giant's causeway. Now that we're here, it is an impressive sight. So all this area here is full of these hexagonal shaped rocks and they actually continue up here and behind you right up as far as the cliffside behind me. Now to this direction here is where we're gonna have, inverted commas, sunrise. But as you can see, there's probably not going to be much in terms of sunrise this morning. It's quite dark clouds and I don't think there's gonna be much light that's gonna come true. So what I'm doing now at the moment here is I'm with the camera I'm going to search handheld for a composition before I start introducing the tripod. That's for a couple of reasons. Number one, these are quite slippy rocks, so I don't want to have to be dragging the tripod over here unnecessarily. Uh, number two, I want to be able to understand what's going to be the right height for me to introduce the tripod at, so I'm going to take a couple of handheld shots, uh, find some interesting uh, correlations on these shapes of these uh, hexagonal rocks that are there, maybe look for one that has a bit of water on it and I'm definitely probably going to do some long exposures as well because um, there's not going to be much uh, cloud so I think it's going to be very moody images so I think a long exposure shot will actually lend itself quite well for that. Now looking behind me right now here if I move you about to have a look you can see that there's this rock pool. Now this rock pool ordinarily might work if I can get down low with it here find some sort of you know composition within that getting a bit of reflection within the sky and yeah I may be able to compose a shot I think in relation to that also so that's one anyway and then there's a couple of other ones as well around here that have little divots in them that are full of pockets of water that I also think will be quite nice I'm probably going to end up going further on down as well here towards the end of this causeway and looking back up this way behind you because it's quite impressive with the uh, cliffs that are at the back here and I think with the moving water as well, it'll be a lovely photograph. I need to be super careful because I think as you see here, you know, the water is quite strong as it comes in. So I can't get too close to the edge, but I still think I want to get close enough anyway to be able to get some action. So yeah, we'll go find some compositions. After I find one, I'll check back in and I'll tell you what I found at that point. They're slippy. Yeah. 
it's fairly energetic actually around here. It's quite interesting actually, there's some really, really big waves that are coming through. And what I managed to do is to get as close as I can get anyway to the edges here um, with the waves that are breaking. Now, I managed to get kind of half a soaking anyway from one wave, but not that, nonetheless, I didn't get too soaked really. Quick wipe of the camera and everything was fine. But the motion that you have coming across these is absolutely beautiful. Now, I know you've got these shapes in, in many other areas, but this is, like I said in the intro here, uh, the Giant's Causeway, it's full of Irish folklore. Um, and legend has it is that it was built between a, a battle between two giants to reach each other. One was in Scotland, which is over here, and then obviously here, the other one in Northern Ireland. And this is all that remains of it to this day. But what an impressive location it is. Now, I'm glad that we got here early as well because it can get quite full with tourists and that would make it more difficult for me to be able to get a clean enough uh, photograph. But what I'm going to do now here is go up to this side here and take a couple of shots with the edge of the causeway that kind of sweeps back out. Going to probably try a couple of shots, one with it in the center of the frame and one with it just leading off because there's a lovely set of cliffs over here as well with some very interesting shapes on it um, and I managed to get I think, I think I managed to get a couple of nice shots as well in relation to that and then one final shot that I will get is shooting back up this way towards the cliffside and uh, I think that also could be a nice photograph too so yeah Giant's Causeway what a place what conditions actually pity I didn't get any light but the waves are more certainly making up for it What an absolutely fabulous location. Let down by light, but I still think I got some nice shots as well. I've done some nice long exposures. And what I'm also doing at the moment now is I've put on my long lens and I've picked out just a couple of these hexagonals that are sticking up at the very, very edge of the causeway. And I'm doing a long exposure on those. Probably gonna go for about maybe a two minute exposure. And hopefully when that comes out then, what you'll have is milky smooth water, but just this couple of areas of these hexagonals sticking out of the, uh, the frame. So um, an excellent morning here uh, so far. I think I'm nearly done. There's one other that I want to get is just shooting back over this way here. So once this long exposure is finished, I'm going to head back up this way and I'm going to shoot back in towards what you see here behind me. But I'm going to use, as I nearly slipped, and I'm going to use the, um, the curvature of these hexagonal rocks on this causeway jetty that comes out as well. But yeah, absolutely beautiful location. I'm going to go for one final shot here um, and it's going to be shooting back up like I said a moment ago here and using the curvature as you have coming along here with the hexagonals but also with the water coming over them. Now for this shot as well um, I don't have much to worry about there's not much happening in the sky as I said earlier on so that's far too it is but with waves like this one as it comes in and then it retreats 
that's when I'm going to take my shot. Now, I'm going to try and aim for a half a second exposure, um, and I'll try and get as well the peak that I have here also within the shot. Now, I'm on manual uh, exposure at the moment here, or manual focus, I should say, rather. And if I put my exposure time up to half a second, I have to go up as far as... Just to let you know, I'm finishing now and coming back up this way. Okay. Thank you very much though. Yes. I sure am. Thank you, sir. So that was somebody telling me that these black stones are slippy. Yeah, they are very, very slippy. So um, yeah, with this now, I'm just gonna wait for the water to come in here like this one now, once it breaks, and then as it retreats back out, take the shot at half a second. And I think I'm going to get a beautiful shot, actually, from that because you get some nice layering. I see a bit of a gap as well between uh, this and also another set of stacks that are over there. But what an incredible location. Like I said from the outset, not much light, but definitely made up for it with the movement in the water and obviously these shapes that are on the rocks. So I hope you enjoy coming to the Giant's Causeway with me this morning. Thank you very much, as always, for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, Schlange voll.